do. They're the, uh, by far the largest advocates of abortion everywhere on planet Earth. That will, that's a left-wing socialist policy for sure. Even back to its roots, it was a socialist policy. There's no doubt that that's true. They're the ones who dropped the population bomb all over planet Earth via helicopter in order to get people to stop breeding. They, yes, they have had significant antinatalist policies. It's absurd to say otherwise. So you're saying that giving people the choice as to whether or not they want to have children. So Andrew is trying to conflate left-wing abortion policy as both socialist and as an antinatal agenda. Vajor knocks this conspicuous straw man down, but breaking shit down and psychology are my ways of dealing with this nonsense. My questions to Andrew would be if he's spoken to many mothers-to-be and asked them why they're getting an abortion or why they have gotten an abortion. Obviously not, which is already obvious and is the point. I somehow doubt Andrew would even care after listening to what I have from this psychotic, severely arrogant, and smug motherfucker. He neglects to explain how the left's abortion policy is antinatal, as all women are, not, are both not getting an abortion or being forced to get one, as antinatalism on a policy level would suggest authoritarianism on abortion, as this guy seemingly argues. I would ask Andrew why he thinks abortion is common and how the left wing has any influence on such a decision. Another question is where he stands on sex ed and condoms. It leads to a decrease in how many children people have. First, well, again, this is a smuggled in premise. That's not, you're not giving, you you're not giving them the choice. You're saying you can't kill your offspring. There's a distinction. No, the elite. What? They're not, they're not giving women a choice. They're telling women they can't kill their offspring. That made no sense. Aside from that, Andrew ignored Vosh and accused him of smuggling a premise in. Again, if the left was guilty of pushing anti-natalism, most if not all women would be forced to have an abortion. That isn't the reality and never has been, now has it? The moderator let Andrew proceed. I would have held Andrew's ass to the fucking fire here, asking him what part of choice does he not under fucking stand? and how pro-life is helping solve the problem of abortion. This is why I don't waste my time with bullshit debates though. I technically am pro-life, I'm just not authoritarian. I agree that abortion is terrible, but I want solutions, not laws. I also don't abide by some cosmic sadist of a fucking tyrant. The legality of abortion is giving people the choice to have or to not have children. It leaves out the possibility of accidentally no, having children. No, this is your bad no, worldview. No, 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 please, please stop. making the assumption no, it's stop, not murder. Stop complaining that... Which is only a doctrinal and dogmatic perception of abortion. My question for Andrew would be why he insists on arguing murder instead of making the effort to communicate with and educate people. He would only answer, because God but that would only open me up to more questions. As for God, I would ask him if abortion would be a thing if God designed reproduction perfectly, which would mean pregnancy couldn't happen until maybe the age of 30 or something. In other words, it wouldn't happen unplanned. He would probably respond saying that God did perfectly design pregnancy, to which I would ask him why so many women get want abortions if God did. If he was to stupidly say these women are sinners, I would say babies are also sinners, and so is he. Literally anything that doesn't immediately, like, pre-pack your framing into it is some kind of biased question, okay? Well, then don't I complain immediately that I accept your framing as being true. I want, oh, well, my framing is that if people have the option to abort uh, a fetus, that they will have less children. I think that people should want to have the children they have. So I want to build a society in which maybe people have more children, but they're amped about it. And what that means is supporting material policies, like, for example, free childcare, or better tax credits, or uh, legal mandates for corporations to provide maternity and paternity leave. Those are examples of things that socialists tend to support and would massively increase the viability of having children even in an industrialized country. That's real politics. Then right? if that's true, then how come in the nations where these things are implemented, you have not seen the birth rate make a recovery, Vosh? Uh, well, I think that they're... 
because America has been broken down by greed, corruption, and religious shit. Instead of religious people just accepting the world as fucking fallen and naturally misbehaves, just as Christianity says. If people lived up to Jesus Christ's standard, they wouldn't be sinners, now would they? Needing his forgiveness. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that take the purpose of this life away? There's more to it than that. You have to oh, give right. people so the then why are you giving me policies that don't work? I don't care. They do work. Give me policies that work. They do work. Uh, how does Christianity well, work? How they work? Okay, I did, and well, where they work? Wait, do you do you need me to explain to you how like state subsidized daycare makes it easier for people? To how does pro life why, work? It has not done it. any reversal to the birth rate in the nations which have implemented. Well, it. wait. Do do you have data that demonstrates it as absolute? Andrew's whole problem here is the birth weight. <laughs> is the birth rate? He arrogantly comes down on Vosh while he hasn't explained how his way would increase the birth rate while making the world a better place. What would Andrew do if everybody was responsible and were properly educated, and the birth rate was still low? But abortions never happen because unplanned pregnancies never happen for that fucking reason. He can't blame left-wing politics in that scenario, can he? Yes, effect, the birth rate. The which which century. nation would you like to cite? And I'll give you the birth rates and that they're on the decline. Absolutely. What specific policies? Do you, wait, hold on. They're on the decline. Is it possible mm -hmm. they would be more on the decline if it wasn't for those policies? Uh, it's then how possible. Do you know? Then how do you however, know? Wait, no, that's however. No, so you confidently even if it, say you have data even that if demonstrates it were, correlations but even if it were, positive behavior. They don't. You say that these are the policies which would reverse the trend. They want. They well, don't can, reverse can, the trend. I can give more. So a lot they of give it, more. Sure. A lot of it also has to do with work culture. Even in a society in which people are uh, given the opportunity to have children with state mandates and subsidies and what have you, um, it, there's a huge issue of like people lose out economically on a lot. My question for Andrew here is why he so badly wants so many women to have kids. He doesn't want women to get abortions, but he also doesn't want them to be free of the responsibility. How is that fucking fair? How is this even his business? I thought the whole thing with a pro-life was that abortion is murder. What if they simply just, uh, you're not getting pregnant. So what's the problem? But by having children. Um, a lot of this also has to do with like keeping dads in the home, right? Like if a dad takes six months off work, even if it's part of paternity leave, that is a rough sell economically and it can disincentivize their future promotions. I think that we should have a culture that is much more permissive towards people not being nonstop 24-7 workaholics, because that shit kills families. Not only does it prevent people from having kids, it also fucks up the kids if they are born. This is a restatement the of the same exact claim. You're giving a material position to this, and yet in the places where you have these material positions, like France, for instance, where you have a reduction in the work week and you do have these types of child care programs, you still see the collapse in free fall of their birth rates. This is not reverse collapse. these trends. Wait, hold on. What's your point, Andrew? How is low birth rate a problem if no women are, quote, murdering babies, as you pro-life types like to call it? Even after Vosh previously mentioned it's about choice. Whatsoever. What, what France birth rate over time. You use very scary words like collapse and free fall. And I just want to make yeah, sure free fall. that um, it looks Look like- Look it up yourself. It looks like, um, hold on one second. I would it also look like that up, but I- Roughly steady for I've, decades. My understanding is this is about <laughs> uh, birth per <laughs> said it's abortion let's, and- Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, wait, I have, it, I have it shown here. So birth it looks rates? like a percentage increase and decrease. There's know. been like a 2% aggregate de decrease since, wait, hold on. So it's uh, in the year of our Lord. What year is this? Wait, hold on, sorry. 2023. 2000. Right, no, two, I mean 2000. 12.7. And then right here, you had down to one. So I guess it's. So as of 2020, France was at 1.83 births per woman. That's not even replacement rate, Vosh. You well, have, have nothing here. Well, the, okay, but what's the rate over the past few decades? Also, you they need have to have at least you need to have at least 2.2. But even if that were true, and the rate were still decreasing past your policy implementation, it hasn't done. It hasn't reversed it. Wait, it wait. hasn't done what you want it to do. So wait. Man. So if abortion, 
If abortion isn't really the reason for the birth rate decrease, I guess Andrew then has a problem with whatever factor is causing it, which means that his issue isn't really with abortion. He just wants people to be miserable and suffer a shitty life for God. I'm, I'm not really certain what Vosh's point is either though. And I free fall is irrelevant for the reason I just explained. Again, you, you don't seem to understand how this data works. The whole point of, like, inferring causality and why it's bad is that you don't know whether or not these would have been worse otherwise. So I'm looking at macrotrends.net on the France fertility okay, rate, where it seems like bit. back in 1978, okay, no, they had uh, 1.86 births per yeah. women, and right now they have 1.86 births per women. Yeah. Can looks link exactly it like, bro, their birth rate okay. looks exactly like ours. It has been collapsing since World War II. Okay, wait, There's no on. doubt that I'm looking at the data. Okay, wait, I'm oh, going to link you this really quickly so you can see what I'm seeing because I feel like we're, okay. we're talking past each other a little bit. Um, if you want to share the screen, just add it and I can share the screen. Uh, here, well, I've, I've just linked it. You can. You well, can... no, just put it in the private chat and I'll, I'll get a look at it here. Oh, it's in there. I have linked it. Uh, I have linked it right there. And as you can see, the French birth rate has remained stable for nearly 45 years now, which is pretty significant i feel unless i'm misreading this data but it was 1.86 per woman back in 1978 and it's the same today so i again like free fall and stability are okay, 1.5 so okay so we see a historical collapse we see in the UN projections and yet another collapse. <laughs> so wait, no, wait, wait, what it, no listen. Wait, wait, I'm looking. This is still, wait, 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 wait. What listen, this is wait, still wait, 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 wait. Okay, are those collapses because of abortion? Or abortions? Hmm? Wait, wait, what collapse? I'm looking at a horizontal line. What is your definition of collapse? Where's the collapse? Yeah, so I'm going to send you over the counter data. No, no, no. Because I, this no, is not in the, correct. In the data... Okay, okay, so you're, you're contesting the data. But in the data that I'm looking mm -hmm. at that I just sent you, the macro trends link, you would agree that this is not a collapse. This is stability, right? <clears throat> According to this particular projection, what I see is a massive free fall, which happened. You would agree that that's a free fall, right? Well, it decreased free fall implies yeah, yeah. like a lack of stability when in fact our countries are the most stable, well i mean so it goes down it, okay so it starts at 2.8 and it goes all the way down to 1.8 so that's free, a significant free fall collapse is like panic language it's like woman stuff you know mm, and free then fall, it goes down to one is like okay fine fall fine off. whatever okay, the but, language but, but, you don't no, like it's, the language it's, it's like it's like saying like the number of horses used in public travel free mm -hmm. fell after 1920 and it's like okay it didn't really free fall it decreased but I don't like because yeah. free fall implies some kind of like catastrophic okay. event, you know? And do you see on your line? They're both erroneously arguing over terms. Yeah, they're both erroneously arguing over terms here. Well, the debate was supposed to be about abortions and has somehow evolved. While Andrew's, a di while <clears throat> while Andrew's issue is birth rate decline which he insisted on blaming on abortion. They're both... Maybe I, sh maybe I should just end this here then. This is... This just evolved and it's become stupid.